All right, so we got another haul video today. Uh, we got one thing from eBay, and I'm trying to make sure, <laughs> sure I do these notes and everything. Um, this is from Amazon. My first order with Mind Sensor, so I'm pretty excited about that. And just a couple things to pick up at the Lego store. And even with all that, I'm still not making a dent in the backlog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those six packages are all things that need to be unboxed, but uh, you know, I gotta have time to film it. But this is the stuff I need immediately to start building on stuff. So let's get them opened up, see what we got. All right, so we'll start off with this one. Again, this is from Amazon, but there's a very specific reason why I went through them <laughs> for this. I wanted to get more of the plastic um, switches for the train tracks and um, started kind of pricing things out and uh, they happened to have them on sale these were $12.80 each per set and because I've had my prime canceled for a little while now um, they offered me prime for a week for two dollars <laughs> so these came literally next day and I bought uh, four of them so that's pretty cool the thing you know I bought so many of the nine volt switches but a lot of them they need to be like cleaned or maybe even I don't like to take them apart because of the way they're they're made um, you know some of them are just completely stuck where they where they don't want to switch so um, that's why I bought all these and it was a good deal. And I just got, I have a reminder set in my phone to cancel prime <laughs> after uh, the week is up and make sure I don't need to order anything else. And I got some stuff from the Lego store, just a couple little things. I normally don't do this, but I got some pick and brick cups and I'll, I'll show what I got there. And this was uh, for science. They do sell um, the powered up train motors behind it's not behind the counter but it's in the back so I asked you know do you guys sell motors and he uh, he said for which set and I was like well I mean they all use the same motors but uh, <laughs> so he went and looked at uh, he needed the reference number off of one of them uh, one of the, the newer trains went to the back and produced this and um, I asked him what else they sold um, you know it didn't seem like it was really his thing maybe he's not really into the electronics but you know he said that yeah we have you know some motors and that kind of thing I think uh, maybe be prepared with what set even if you're not using it for a set have a set number to give them um, that'll make it things a little easier on them so I got two big old pick and break cups I can't really get too deep into here to, to show you what I got but um, I always think it's interesting to see how, how you can cram things in there. <laughs> so this is a solid block of 2x8 yellow tiles. Um, the 8 is very nice if you want to go between... Um, I've, I've used these a lot in like train layouts. I bought a bunch of these. I think these will be good for... Um, if you have a power functions uh, wire that you want to... You know, it's not going to be able to click on one side. So uh, those are good for that. Um, Let's see if I can get this out. This is an absolute. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Another solid block <laughs> of two by tens. And I've been using these to space my train tracks apart and then have one going across. Because um, the cat likes to rip roar through there, especially. You know, once about 2 a.m. hits, that's when he gets going. Um, and I hear him zooming through the living room, and um, he'll, he will knock tracks clear across the... <laughs> so that's that's what all these are for, uh, mostly for just trains. I wasn't really too worried about the color. It is what it is. Um, I don't know if there's anything interesting in here. Um, there is another... Oh, um bunch bunch of these it was the only one by four they had but i need one by fours for um monorail to, to join them together i just ordered some like 200 light gray from uh, germany but that'll take a while to get here so in the meantime i have an absolute ton of those in here and all of this is surrounding uh, two by six uh bricks i use these quite a bit 
uh, my monorail stanchions. In order to get a train under the monorail, um, I put two layers of bricks underneath the monorail stanchions just to make sure uh, the trains don't you know, hit their head <laughs> when they're driving through. So that, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'm, I, I get pick a brick cups fairly often. Um, a lot of times once a week I'll ride through on a Wednesday. Um, which oddly enough is the day they seem to restock. <sighs> uh, I forgot to put my other phones out. Um, just to see what they have. So, all right. So we've got, um, you know, spoiler alert, another, uh, app controlled Batmobile. I bought two of these. You may have seen the short. Um, I got one from Mercari and of course that one, um, the batteries were leaking in it. It was really cheap. Uh, Chinese batteries and it wasn't the normal corrosion you get with the blue or green fuzz kind of stuff it was um, clear liquid which you know I worry about like if somebody ordered that for their kid and the kid didn't know what it was and if they're like huh what's this let me taste it or you know something crazy I knew what I was dealing with I was like okay this is uh, so I bust out the baking soda uh, to absorb if it's clear liquid then you need a base and something I guess I don't know I'm not a chemist but that's what I did. I cleaned it with, with baking soda and then cleaned it with like alcohol to and everything seemed okay. So you know, with some of these, I probably could have told them I really don't need the box. I'm not that worried about it. Um, and I've opened one of these before. I'm buying these for the electronics and I've bought three so far and they were all right around $50. So this one was $49.45. The Mercari one was, I think, 53. Um, and that, to me, is a great deal. You've got a... Okay, what is going on here? So that's... <laughs> this looks like... <laughs> this looks like a hairnet for a giant. <laughs> like... <laughs> it's... That is just... That is something. If you know what this is for, uh, maybe, maybe comment, but... To me, it's a hairnet for a giant. And, and maybe like, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the loose pieces in here, they look pretty dusty. I'm not gonna pour those out. Oh, what did they do? Get my knife back out. <sighs> what on earth? Even this feels dusty like I said for me it's probably fine um, I just want the electronics okay well I know what this is this is a trash bag out of a, like a bathroom sized <laughs> trash can so they got pretty creative Moment of truth. Um, no corrosion on this side. Oh, come on, really? These are Amazon basic uh, batteries. I don't see a year on it, but I'm not really. Okay. Looks okay to me. And even this looks fairly clean. It's not quite as dusty as some of these other pieces. So, another hub. And another two of these uh, We Do or uh, there's another name that the small linear motor, whatever. Um, so, that's great. These, these motors go for about 20 bucks each. These are 40 to $50 each, even used. So 50 bucks for all this is great. And as I showed in my controlling Lego trains from a PC video, these work great for automating the switch tracks and then you've, you've got a hub to control them. So that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, these will definitely get used. So just a pro tip, pick these Batmobiles up. And to me, this is the most exciting thing today. This is a lot from, or some items from MindSensors.com. 
I might have had one of their sensors I bought used, but I've never just placed an order with them. Uh, this came really quick, which I was excited about. Okay. Looks right. Trying not to dox myself pulling out the paperwork. All right, so these are um, extenders for the uh, NXT or EV3 cables. Um, these will need to be soldered together, but I think you save three dollars for each one of these. You know, per you know, it's like five dollars unassembled, maybe eight dollars assembled. So to me, I can solder this, these together quick. So I think I saved like twenty bucks or whatever it ended up being. These are the port splitters. For I2C sensors. Um, so I've got to see how these work. I'm not super familiar um, with, with like the IC3, I, I2C protocol, all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Um, they had a list of sensors. Oddly enough, they didn't have touch sensors listed. So maybe those are just basically analog um, and they won't work with this. But um, I'll. I have a use for these either way, whether it can do, uh, it said it could do ultrasonic sensors, so that should be fine for me. So I bought two of those. Um, okay, so that's one, two. So I bought three of the extenders and I'll have to solder those together. Um, this is kind of the same thing, but instead you get a six pin header um, that you can plug in your own device to. It always gets so loud, like right when I get to the end of a video. <laughs> um, so yeah, bought, I think two of these and these again will have to be soldered, but you save a few bucks buying them unassembled. Um, these are NXT or EV3 plugs. Um, so I can kind of, I need to find a uh, crimper and modify it. Um, and then I'll be able to make some of my own cables. I don't know how often I'll need these. You know me, I'm a nine volt era kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I just ordered, this is a 10 pack. That'll get me by for a little while, um, just to try them out and see how it works. Um, this is a numeric, uh, pad for NXT. So that should be pretty cool to have some kind of input, um, beside, you know, I've done a lot of computer controlled stuff. I like to use the active control lab. Um, really liking the, the brick automation project that I just started recently using. But this will be another input device um, that I can use. Because I know with these companies, they generally aren't going to be around forever. They've, I think they've stuck around a good while now, thankfully. Um, but you just never know. Like, I always think back to, to 40 bricks with all the monorail stuff they had. And, you know, it was so cool. And then, you know, they eventually, I don't think they, I really don't know the current state of things uh, with, with uh, 40 bricks. And this is a digital uh, pneumatic pressure sensor. And I've been, for years and years and years, I've been making automated compressors and using a pneumatic cylinder to make my own um, pressure sensors, but they never really work that well. They work, they work well to turn off the pump, but if, if your pressure is just slowly going out, um, a lot of times it won't re-engage. Um, so this is just <laughs> and the easy way out. I'll just, this is like $35, I think, but it'll be worth it. It'll get a lot of use, um, because I tended to do a lot of pneumatic pumps in my stuff. So that's pretty much it for today. I might release some more haul videos during the week. Cause I've, I've got at least one video already filmed and I've got all these boxes sitting here. And so I need to get through them. <laughs> but I'm trying to find a good rhythm, you know, I'm basically now doing one full effort tutorial video, whatever it is, um, or mock. And then, you know, the, the other week will be a haul video, but as long as I can keep at least one, one a week, I think the algorithm won't be too upset with me, even though, I mean, it, <laughs> it hates me. <laughs> it hates educational content in general, a lot of times or informative videos. 
um, you know, except for the big ones, they do okay. But if you really think about it, if you watch one of my videos and you're inspired to go build something, put down your phone or turn off the computer and go build something, that's seen as a negative to the YouTube algorithm. They want you to stay on platform as long as possible. So that's, that's always in the back of my mind, you know, that I'm, I will be punished if I make a really good tutorial and inspire somebody to go build something. <laughs> that's just the state of the world. I'm using their platform. I don't really have to, I don't have to pay for it. So it is what it is. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Dude.